Hello the channel, welcome back everybody, hope you're well, hope you've had a good, had a good weekend, um, I think it's actually been quite a tough weekend overall, um, but there we go, we move on, we've got another midweek coming up and another weekend coming up as well, so recap wise, um, well done to Dulio, so our Uruguay winning, pulling through with um, a tier 1 limited in the Bundesliga Pro, so that, that was a good result in the end. Um, also made a wee gesture, gave him um, a super air John Brooks, which I won um, as well. So I think everyone was feeling a bit down in the dumps on Saturday. It was kind of quite funny putting out that post with all the games and everything on and then Celtic were mans. So, so there we go. Um, created plenty of chances, actually. Matt Riley, three big chances missed, you see. A um, couple of other results as well. So Champion America, super air. This one pulled through it at this point on Saturday. I think only Johnny Russell had played, so pretty solid overall. Would have been a really high finish if um, Canales had got decisive, but tier four um, in the end. So not too bad considering um, Canales didn't. And this one, um, second division Europe pro, again, did pretty well overall. Um, Watford were really hammering Blackburn. They scored a really good goal, but Watford were all over them, so... Um, this would have been about fourth, I think, if um, they kept the clean sheet late on. But there we go. Um, we're still moving forward. Um, still been a reasonably good weekend overall, but I think it was a difficult one. So five wise, lots of lots of people really with their teams being pretty dead, I think, by um, Saturday night. So anyway, this is a rewards video. Let's get them open and we'll see um, what you've won, Adilio. So now you'll be. You'll be champing at the bit to see what this um, tier one is, so we'll get them claimed. So first, so coins, good chunk, I think. Obviously, like 50, 50 teams or something out of the weekend, which is just bonkers, obviously. 10,260. Nearly enough for a sore air hat. I do need a hat, especially when it's sunny. Um, managed to hit the cap 240 rare um, threshold. Um, well done again, so you're so rare Uruguay. So hit the two forty M cap, so you'll get this as well. Find a way to exchange that um with the cards and stuff too. Um so without further ado, we'll open the tier one Bundesliga, so it should be champion cards. I think they should be restricted to Bundesliga cards as well. So let's see. Dutch forward. Dortmund. Daniel Malin. Awesome. That's a nice card to win, I think. Malin's been playing pretty well from what I remember in the last couple of games. Obviously, it's the older season card as well. No new um, Bundesliga cards as yet, but yeah, 23 years old, Daniel Malin. That's great. So I hope you enjoyed it, buddy. I know you you said you did enjoy it and you were really thankful for the, the gesture too. And that, that's what the, the giveaway and everything's all about. Before we move on to the R rewards, we will try and do some stuff later on. Um. Just going to try and enjoy a couple of weeks, I think, of picking my own teams and, and sort of assessing the gallery and everything, but I'm sure we'll be back with some sort of fun giveaway later on. So a couple of rares as well. Um, go with the Tier 4 Champion Americas. Picked one up in rare as well. Argentinian defender, Argentinas. Pablo Minicelli. Good stuff. Um, Not one I know that well, actually. I'm not sure how much he's actually been playing, but uh, 21 and the new season card as well. So that's that's pretty good. Um, also picked up a tier two in second division rare pro. Dutch defender from Oxford, Wesley Hode. Good stuff. That's really good actually. Um, Hode's been played well. New card, which I'm not really a huge fan of the design, but there we go. Um, and got Porteous as well. So that that's actually pretty good. So pretty happy with that. And tier two champion Asia. South Korean goalkeeper from Diaju. Oh Sun Hyun. I think he's been playing recently as well, isn't he? So that why he's only a tier two. I suppose the, the, the goalkeepers are um, pretty bonkers in South Korea as well and um don't know if it's been any rotation at Diaju. I've only really been playing attention to them scoring goals because of Cezinha. So so that could be okay actually if he's playing. Um always good to have Another option, goalkeeper-wise, and a Tier 4 Super Rare. Brazilian, that's usually good. Defender, Fortaleza, Bruno Pacheco. Good stuff. So I don't really know Bruno Pacheco either, but I'm going to look him up because I'm always interested to see what the script is. 
Let's, let's hope he scores well. Don't follow him, so that's never really good news. 47 average. Reasonable enough. Last 15. None in the market as well. Score's not too bad, actually. Nice wee 100 in there. Limited's not going for much, but that's not saying much in MLS and Asia and everything just now as well. So there we go. That's the rewards. The other thing I wanted to touch on was just um, the month-long competitions and things as well. So actually not even looked at this. Just had one of those busy days, so get rid of these teams. Not really looked ahead to the weekend yet, so I'll do a video um, going over that and everything. Um, and I'm just wondering if it's got this stuff in the prize pools here. Probably won't show here actually because it's the month long stuff. So, where is it? The prize pools. I don't know where it is. Not if it's on site actually. I know there was a link to it. Let, let me, give me two seconds. Let me try and find the, the link and then use. Quite good that actually. Quite, quite like we're getting the actual notifications on site now, um, which is nice. Um, better communication wise if that's always coming out here. So um, so yeah, we've got these um, month long competitions. So first thing is there's, well, there's 4,000 people in the All-Star already. Focus on the All-Star. So it's all the All-Star um, equivalents, um, including the All-Star Pro. Um, it's over every game week in September and then pick your four best scores. Um, people say no, it's not so good if you don't have midweek teams. I do get that, but it's also based on your four highest point scoring efforts as well. So it's not about coming first midweek with 388. It's about getting 420 at the weekend because it'll be 420 plus 400, blah, blah, blah. I'm talking in 400s. I know that's pretty hard to get those types of scores, but all-star wise, um, to get right up the top, um, the leaderboard, you're going to have to get good scores but what, what I really like about this um, your additional F been paid out there's 3,000 places in this and there's 600 playing down to five dollars so that's good if you win it you can win a star rare so what more reason would you need to play all the all stars all month than winning a star rare I mean come on look, look at the prize but not <laughs> nearly sold that well um, look at the prize pool there's no cards available. No, obviously, there's cards available. So, um, so yeah, star rare. Um, you're you're talking about guys like Kimmich and Bappe, guys like that. Obviously, that's really good. Um, moving up a bit as well. I really like how they've done it with these um other sort of um competitions too. So if you look at All Star Rare Pro, for example, if you go really um sort of big in the All Star, um Rare Pro. You can win a super rare tier one. So if you're targeting the all-star and you've got better cards, but you uh, maybe don't have the money to win a, a good um, super rare, well, there you go. Super rare tier one. And a tier one super rare is a bloody good card, by the way. That is a good card to win. And if you look at the the unique level and everything, it doesn't really apply to a lot of people. But if you win the all-star month long, you win a star super rare. So imagine picking up it's a star super rare for second as well and a super rare tier one for third. Um and paying two hundred dollars down to top twenty as well. So I, this gets me excited. I know this is something that'll probably suit me pretty well because I'm always got a big gallery and got teams out and everything. But imagine you have a stonker this weekend and you don't have teams out in the international break and you're well up the leaderboard. It might give you a reason to fill out a team or to buy some guys for the international break, etc. So, um, heard some positive and negative feedback on this. But I think that's brilliant, really good. Um, you get a month long format. You don't have to lock your cards in for the whole month. You play your teams. Um, list of play still applies, but then you you put in another team to the the next game week. If you miss the midweek game week, you're still eligible. All that type of stuff. I do get people who say, well, that's just giving more prizes to Wales or whatever, but. The guys who've got the, the top cards who are doing well, that should hopefully drive up their value. And at the end of the day, if you win a star card or whatever, you want it to be, be valuable. Um, I really like what they've done with this. I love what they've done with the limited, the all-star, the all-star rare pro where you can win super rares, good super rares, you know, kickoff and everything. It's a fun tournament, etc. but not always the best um, prizes. And, you know, 
I'll probably not have enough entries into the All Star Unique to to ever get up here. But imagine winning a Tier One Unique. I mean, that's something that could be worth like twenty or thirty thousand. Like, that's that's really good. And at the end of the day, if people buy into this, they like it, they want to hold their cards, they want to buy better cards or whatever, then that's that's brilliant for Sora. So anyway, this was the the video um, just for the rewards and everything, and it's the end of the the giveaway. Um, thanks very much for everyone for um, for getting involved. And um, remember, if you've enjoyed things like the the video, um, if you're not subscribed yet, if you subscribe, there will be other giveaways and everything later on up at the top here. There'll be a wee link to any other sort of similar videos if you want to watch any more content. I'm going to go away watch a Galatasaray game now. We'll be back um, for lineup builder for the weekend. Thanks very much, guys.